It's trusting Will you move? So well, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? I, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Stagecoach. This is nothing. Really? Really. Lead the way.
He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Leave your horse near these trees over here. What are you doing? Get off. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. We could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet.
Get on, dear boy. Everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Yes, we. Less problems, the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. 
Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yep. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. All right. Well, I should be getting on. Thanks. Hey, y'all. Hello, Arthur. Hi there. Hundred 
1861, the Yankee War began. In 1861, the Yankee War began. As we go marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. As we go marching on. What is it, Arthur? Oh, John was the abolition man. Old John Brown was the abolition man. Old John Brown was the abolition man. As we go marching on. Hey, glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. As we Everything okay? Or The slaves are all set free. In 1863, the slaves are all set free. In 1863, the slaves are all set free. As we go marching on. Yes, Arthur. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. As we go marching on. Uh, all right, all right. Good times. There he is. Hey, Arthur. this one.
Hey, Arthur. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Good morning, Arthur. Miss Roberts. Cup of coffee. Nothing better. You keep your eyes open, Bill. Uh, good morning, Arthur. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure. Mercy, come on, mercy. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry about your husband, your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Hey there. Morning, Arthur. Morning to you. Arthur. There, Mr. Morgan. Fine. Mm, what's it like? It's a decent place. There's food to eat, fools to rob. We'll be okay. As long as we don't linger too long. We sent Micah and Lenny out scouting west to see what they could find. Good. And we're gonna need to make a decent bit of money if we're gonna get out of this hole. Oh, I know. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly, he's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Okay. All right there. Mr. 
Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. No, I reckon I need to get my This hands stew is material. decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Right is right. Good job, Mr. Morgan. My arms is gonna fall off. I ain't cleaned myself in weeks. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> Who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an O'Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dutch said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Morgan, you didn't tell me what the O'Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. 
That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like the stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted, granted. I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends. If I can. You don't know the half. I do know Colm killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, the... Uh... Making excuses for the man. And his crimes. What kind of trap you leading us into, boy? I ain't. I'm trying to help. Honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first O'Driscoll will shoot. Uh, and quit breathing on my neck. Now we go left. The uh, road will take us up and round. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. Sorry it wouldn't kill you. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Okay, now now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Whoa! Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Whoa! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, 
Let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. Chance and ages. I'll be stood guard duty, sun up to sun down, soiling my drawers in the spot. Be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Oh, 
Said Cole would be in the cabin. I'll take what I can get. You said you was looking for Cole. I told you he'll be. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are.
least you got something tucked away. That should do it, girl. Yep. Yep. Mister. And you'll be sad, like when your poppy passed, because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. 
You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Hey, boy. You okay, boy? Ain't much game. Guess it wasn't your day today, huh? Let's go, girl. Mister. England's finest. <laughs> don't irritate me, boy. The truth hurts, don't it? Okay, Mr. Morgan. You okay? Sure. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into good. coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trap for the travel around these parts. Hey. Hiya, Arthur. Hey, I think my back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking.
Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, but not much else. A shotgun. And no cold? Not for now, no.
All right. Hey, Arthur. Hello. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, maybe not for a while. <laughs> Might be for the best. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You're busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning? Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted... Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I going to go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. You'll be safe here. <laughs> At least for now. Until you're back on your feet properly. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has anyone. You can stay with us as long as you want. 
Thank you. It's the least we can do. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Hello, Tilly. Hi, Arthur. Hang in there. We're on the up. I hope you're right. Hey, Sean. All right there. So, we found the old Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of Cone. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that Karen? He's all right now. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. Gentlemen. Arthur. Won't take long. Easy, girl. Eat this. Easy.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Oh. Where is it? Oh. Oh. No. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Harry Strauss. Pay up. Stop! Już nie mam siły. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Don't even speak English. Somewhere. The longer I look, the madder I get. Very valuable, good? Not good yet.
Don't even speak English. Uh, very valuable. Good? Not good yet. What you got behind there? So, uh, me. Move aside. Rusakom nie można ufać. Mamy kańcem też. There be something somewhere. Must have come here with something. Longer I look, the madder I get. I need, I must eat, proszę. Okay, that should about cover things.
Just hold her up a minute there. Como Driscoll told me expressly to shoot anyone I saw around here, but me, I'm my own man. There's something up with this one, I can tell. Look at this fake. Careful, everybody. You must be in the wrong town. Clear off. And what you gonna do if I don't? That's the last straw! <laughs> that all you boys got? Find a speech here. No worries.
Hold it.
always got to be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> 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 You'll find something on him, I swear. He's got money on him. He, he has to. Please, just see. He can't spend all that money yet. Hey, you know what I'd do to thieves? Law here about this. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Damn it. Let's move. Look what we got here. Hold still, Mr.
This is uh, very kind of you. and you ain't here to work. Yep. You Chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, I wanna talk to that fella over there. Nah, I'm just here to work for the season. me like this now I'm just gonna check your pockets okay yep Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> yep, keep coming.
Don't take long, girl. Hold on. Ah! <laughs> 
Just wait a second, girl. Come on, girl. Yep. Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? We did all right out of it. Just no comb. Hey, son. Cheer up. Cheer up. I need you cheerful. I'm real cheerful, sir. Well, then try smiling. We are gonna be okay. I know, sir. Arthur, would you tell him things are gonna be okay? When you say it, Dutch, we all believe it. <laughs> and that's Arthur Morgan speaking. The best man I know. And enough with the sir. This ain't the army. We win our fights. Leopold. How are you? How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. How are you?
I made rather a fool of myself again. Me too. Me too. It's just... It's so embarrassing. It happens. After Bessie passed away, I was drunk for a year. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know something? I was married once. You were? Yeah. Only it turns out that she was already married. So I was party to bigamy. Just another sin to add to my list. What happened? The law caught up with us in San Francisco. She jumped aboard a ship and sailed to Shanghai, I believe. I suppose I still am married in a way, but... It hasn't been terribly filling. No. I suppose not. Are you okay, Miss Karen? How are you? Well, they haven't killed me yet. Who ain't? The boys around here. Yeah. They're good boys, mostly. It's the most thing I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. You'll be fine. You're one of us now. My lady. Hello, Arthur. Good. We really needed this. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time, 
I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.